Markets. Welcome to Vienna, Austria. We are here for the Christmas markets, and this is one of the capitals of Christmas through the entire continent. And you can't go wrong with Vienna at any time of the year, but especially at Christmas. We've got five or six different markets planned to show you guys around in case you're planning a trip of your own to Vienna during Christmas time. First up on today's agenda for our Christmas markets here in Vienna is Schönbrunn Palace. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the history of Schönbrunn Palace, then go ahead and check out our video that we filmed last year when we were in Vienna. Today, it's going to be all about the Christmas market, and this is one of the most popular ones in the city so we are starting today's video off with the banger welcome to my home at christmas time <laughs> you seriously can't go wrong with any of these christmas markets here but i imagine this one's like definitely the most elegant we're gonna see like imagine just like opening the shutters on a crisp winter morning and then having that giant christmas tree outside of your door <laughs> Should we join them caroling? <laughs> what are they singing, Hannah? I have no idea. I don't know what any words that they're saying right now. <laughs> I love this so much. I literally just want to say, like, take all my money. I want one of everything. <laughs> Market number one and she's already shopping. So, here are we go. Are we shocked? No. As far as the Christmas markets here in Vienna go, this is probably the most regal in my opinion, even if it's not, you know, crazy well lit right now because obviously it's still kind of daylight out. The centerpiece of this market is this Christmas tree that I think is like 36 meters tall. Whoops, actually 18 meters. Has like a thousand lights on it. Well, I read online that it has a thousand lights, but just eyeballing it, I'm not sure that's totally correct. A little short. A little short. It may have a few hundred lights, but it's a big Christmas tree and it sits perfectly just right in front of the palace. This is one of the few that we've actually not been to yet since we've been here in Vienna. And it's well worth the journey out here. You can take, I think it's the U-Bahn, like the underground over here, and it runs right from the city center all the way up to the front of Schönbrunn Palace. So kicking your night off with this. I mean, it doesn't get much with better than this. With elegance, with regality. Oh. Is that a word? I don't, I don't think know. that's a word. <laughs> I made it up. It's also worth noting that the glue line is 50 cents cheaper here. Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. It's 50 cents cheaper. And the mugs are super cute. I'm going to take all of the mugs home. Oh. Regality's a word. Oh, there we go. <laughs> the state of being a king or queen. I don't know if it totally works. But we're going to make it work tonight. It's okay. It's like a sweet potato over there with different kinds of toppings and just a warm sweet potato right now. Sounds so good. As y'all can tell, my wife don't play about potatoes. She does not mess around when there are potatoes involved. Okay, as cool as this market is, are you ready to keep it moving? Yeah, I'm gonna, if we stay here too much longer, I'm gonna eat one of everything. Yeah. We gotta keep it moving. Let's keep it rolling. The good thing about knocking out Schönbrunn Palace first is because it's kind of outside of the city center, which is nice, you know, you kind of get out of the hustle and bustle, but now we're heading back to the city center because that's where the rest of our markets that we're checking out tonight are, and they're all relatively within walking distance of each other. I missed it riding up. <laughs> is starting to whip and I have no idea how much longer we're gonna last without our beanies because it is getting cold. Next up is Maria Theresienplatz. It's a little area of town that's wedged between the Natural History Museum and the Art Museum and it's got a big statue of Maria Theresa in the middle that dates back I think to the 19th century. I'm giving you a whole load of information that has nothing to do with the Christmas market itself but it's a beautiful Christmas market. We're gonna go check it out next. Done it. Good job, Trey. This is a perfect spot for sunset. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to try something different than glue vine. Really? Yeah. Let's switch it up. I Oh, this is like so cozy on my hands. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I got the Maryland Punch. It's white wine with apricot syrup, I'm assuming, and different spices. So we're going more fruity. Uh-oh. It's not bad. It's not bad. If you don't like apricots, this is not your drink. Do uh. you want to try it? It feels so good. Like, it's oh, so warm. Oh, it feels warm. so good on my hands. It's so warm, I don't even care. It's oh, it's so good. Oh, you like I it? I actually, I don't think I've ever had apricots before. I think I've had, like, dried apricots, but I've never had it in a drink. This is, I like this more in glue line, to be honest oh. with you. <laughs> The first couple of sips always hit me the hardest because it's like burning my throat. This was the perfect spot to like watch the sun go down and now the moon's popping out. Oh my gosh. I think one thing that I've noticed here that's different from a lot of the Christmas markets through Germany that we went through last year is that here in Vienna, the settings of these Christmas markets are stunning. From Schönbrunn to here in Maria Theresen Platz, even Stefan's Dome over in the center of town, and then Rathaus Platz over the city hall. Seems like every single Christmas market here in this city has an unbelievable setting. It's unmatched from any city that we've been to. Honestly, I don't think it can be outdone. Christmas markets. There's really nothing like them. <laughs> it's hard to beat. Hats on. <laughs> All right, the sun has set, the temperature has dropped, the beanies are on. And we are now heading to another beautiful Christmas market in a beautiful setting. But in order to get there, we have to walk through the city center of Vienna. And to be honest, it's never a bad thing. Look at this. There's bread bowl soup over there. That sounds amazing. Is that what you're wanting? I don't know. We've been to a lot of the like crafty or like maker smarts, I would say. They're very focused on showcasing a lot of the local art and the local handicrafts. Here we have seen a little bit more food. So we're eyeing, we're eyeing that. The mugs are also in the shape of a boot. So it's Any to... excuse for Hannah to take it's home tempting. a mug. Some stoop spotsle. Wow. This is spotsle. It's one of our favorite things that we got from the Christmas markets last year. It's like mac and cheese with like bacon in it. Oh, look at that pole. Oh, and it's so warm. It's so, so good. There's so much wind, my hair's blowing in my face. Yeah, it's really windy tonight. So good. So obviously Stefan's Platz is absolutely ridiculous. The market's beautiful and also the setting, as usual, here in Vienna, is beautiful. We've got two more markets before we get to the big one for the night. So we're gonna kind of move a little bit quickly between the two of them, but you should still stop over there because they're on the way to the last one from Stefan's Dome. Next up is Weihnachtsmarkt am Hof. I think that's how you say it. It's got the best brats I think I've ever had in my life. So this is where I'm getting dinner tonight. So 
this market is basically like two different areas. You've got one side over here that's kind of like the arts and crafts and the, the handiwork that a lot of the locals come over here and sell. And then the other side is like more food. There's actually a champagne bar here too, which is something I've never seen at any other Christmas market. And also the mugs here for the glue vine are very unique. They're like tall and bossed, I think. Yeah, it's a really cool area. This is one of the oldest areas in all of Vienna too. So you're getting a lot of history. You're getting a lot of really good glue vine. Also, Mozart played his first show in Vienna around here in one of these buildings. I'm sorry, I don't know exactly which one, but I know he played his first show here in the square in one of these buildings ever in Vienna. Leave it to Trey to give you all the facts even in a Christmas market video. Those were very roundabout facts, by the way, and they could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they're right. Let's go. It's kind of hard to see these mugs, but they're like a little angel blowing a flute and playing something else. I can't really see the other side. Not every pour is made equally. That guy just filled it up to the brim. Absolute legend. Yeah. Oh yeah. Delicious. So I got the uh, cheese hot dog. Got some ketchup on it. Eight euros, but it's gigantic. Like, look at how big this is. I've got a really large head. If that gives you any inclination of how big this hot dog is. Mm. Uh huh. Okay, so we're about to get to the main event of tonight's Christmas market video, but before we get there, we're gonna stop at Altfeiner Chris Kindle's Market, and it's basically a, a small little Christmas market. It's a lot smaller than every other one that we went to, but it's it's unique, it's nice, and it's really easily walkable, and there's also an organic farmer's market across the street. On the left is the organic farmer's market, and on the right is the Altfeiner Market. This is definitely like one of the more chill, I would say, that yes. we've that we've been to. I feel like it's kind of tucked off in its own little world, which is kind of nice because there's not a ton of people over here. There's also the cutest little ornament store. doesn't get old. This is amazing. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I think of Christmas markets, I think of Rothhaus Plots here in Vienna. This is one of the most iconic Christmas markets in the entire world, let alone not just Vienna, but the entire city. Oh yeah, the heart's going across. I don't really know what that means. I don't know what it means either. But it's cool. It is cute. It's just coming back and forth. Yeah. saw these yesterday when we were walking around and I was like, I have to have one. So now I'm getting one. I have a spinach. You got what you wanted? I'm so excited about this. All about that food. Look at that. Look how golden and crispy that is. Ooh. Spinach and mozzarella in a risotto ball. This is amazing. There's no real graceful way to eat that, is there? No. I want another one. Oh, no. They're so yummy. Oh my gosh. And now I'm like all warm and cozy. We're in line for something again. <laughs> do you want some mangoes? No, but I know you do. <laughs> well, I don't want a whole one. That brat was so big. I'm good. Do you see what I'm working with, y'all? Okay, the one little hut at the last market was really cute, but this is just captivating. I want to take every single one of them home with every me. Every type of <laughs> ornament on the planet. Any single one you could want. I think she's looking for me. 
was like, where did you go? <laughs> really doesn't get much better than Vienna. Are we keeping it? No. Should we get Santa hats?